I didn't even pray for that he would take away my pain in a second. It didn't even come to my mind. Something so amazing has happened to me that I just need to share it with you because I'm so happy. And it actually already started last year in the autumn when we still lived in Sweden. We were going to go here to Norway to make a film project together with the health center called Fredheim. And uh, yeah, as many of you know, I've been really struggling for a long time with different health issues, especially, yeah, uh, severe eczema. Um, so we were going to go there and film when I was going to go th through the treatments and so. But then because of the whole Corona situation, the borders were closed and yeah, we looked forward to it so much and it was of course very sad. But then in the spring, we got another chance to go there and <laughs> by then my skin had started to heal up so much. Yeah, it's just incredible. And so we actually thought that like, Maybe we can give this opportunity to someone else instead so that they can get help. And then we thought about Mervyn's mom because she has been struggling with health issues for like a long, long time. And one of the things that she struggled with was a very severe back pain, like for 30, 40 years. And we really hope that maybe she can get help with that. And they said yes, so she could come there instead and that we would film her. But the thing is, we heard that there uh, is a person that comes there twice a year that is expert in helping people with their pain, Hans is his name. But unfortunately, it was not during the period when she was going to go there. Oh, and we were just, oh, that would have been so good. So we prayed a lot for that somehow he would come anyway. And it turned out that he was willing to come for her sake to, to look at her back. But again, it was the whole issue with the borders and that he would be in quarantine and everything. Uh, but just before the border got open from his area, so he could come there. <laughs> and that was just an amazing yeah, prayer answer. We were so happy. Uh, but then also, the thing is that I've struggled with back pain for like the last 40 years uh, also. And uh, yeah, it was because I was falling during the gymnastic in school and um, one of my vertebras was yeah sticking out it's called spondylosis and it caused so much pain uh, it has yeah been very painful in so many like normal situations just like sitting on a chair uh, oh yeah i needed to move around a lot uh, to not get pain or taking walks i would always get pain or yeah need to stand and lean against things very much and picking up a was painful a lot of different situations so I thought now when he would come there what if maybe maybe he could also take a look at my back um, but then uh, because of the borders they they came so late in the evening uh, so it was 10 in the evening and I didn't know like oh, I, I don't want to bother yeah, I don't want to bother him. He's already doing, yes, yeah, so so much. Uh, so I struggle with knowing if I really could uh, could ask him. But it was oh, it was so hard because it was so close, like a solution to fourteen years of pain. Uh, and then during uh, Melvin's mom's treatment, uh, me and Melvin we were sitting praying for that the treatment would go well and everything. And I was in so much pain at that moment uh, and not even knowing how to sit and pray. And then in the end of the prayer, I was uh, having this uh, struggle inside where I was saying to God like that, oh God, you see, you see how desperately I would long to uh, yeah, be free from this pain, but I don't want to bother them. And I don't, I don't know what to do if I should go and ask or let it be. And then I also thought about that, okay, I sh I sh from the beginning, I was supposed to have been here and go through the treatments and then maybe I would have got this treatment and I had this uh, surrendering moment in my heart of really like, no, but we, we gave this away. Uh, and in that moment, I fully let go of that and I said to God, okay, God, um, I trust you. It might not be that I get help now. Uh, I want to give this fully into your hands. 
and I know that you have solutions. You can send someone maybe in two, two months or two years or uh, you can have them suddenly like uh, come to me and ask, do you also have pain? I don't know, you have ways. So I surrender this now. I, I don't want to go and bother them now. God, please, please, I give this to you and I, I trust you um, and your ways. So yeah, then we said, amen. <laughs> and I stood up <laughs> and I heard from my back, I heard crack, crack, crack. <laughs> And the pain was gone. <laughs> and I was just like looking around, wondering like, what just happened? <laughs> and then I thought like, oh, wow, this is so amazing. God has given me this the confirmation of that. You can, you can really trust me. And uh, like, you don't need to go and ask it. I, I have this under control. And then I walked down because I was thinking that it was that pain that I was in that moment that was gone. But then I walked down the stair and I felt, but I don't have any pain walking down the stairs. <laughs> it was just so amazing. And I said to, yeah, I said to Melvin, like, babe, I think God just healed my back pain. <laughs> I was just so happy. I was like, yeah, bending down and just testing out. Like I can bend down without pain. And for the next coming days, I was jumping around like a child <laughs> and just like, look at me, babe. I can step over those things on the floor without any pain. And like, yeah, oh, I don't have to lean against things and I can just bend down and put on my shoes. I can, yeah, I can just <laughs> like, wee, beep, beep. I can't slip that belly knife without any pain. <laughs> and that is just a, oh, such an amazing feeling. I didn't even know it could feel so calm in my lower back and my legs. And oh, just to be able to put in the laundry or like play with Ellie and I pushing him on his uh, small toy cars. And oh, I'm <laughs> so happy. <laughs> So that's just so, so amazing. And then also, like, uh, yeah, Hans, uh, he was asking me, because I had to tell him, of course, what happened. And he was asking me, do you mind if I take a look at your back? Uh, he said, sure. And uh, he looked and he saw that, <laughs> like, okay, this is amazing. It looks exactly like how it looks the day after I've done the treatment. I can see on your muscles exactly <laughs> yeah, this is the one I meant that I pushed you on. <laughs> That's right. But yeah, so he said, I can see that the muscles are so sore, exactly as if, yeah, you have had a problem for a very long time. But when I look at the spine and your movements, it looks normal. <laughs> it is, oh, it's just so amazing. And it, is, it has taught me, <laughs> like... <laughs> such a big lesson also of both of surrendering like full surrender and trusting God that we <laughs> like he has our best in mind he knows the timing for everything and we can just fully trust him uh, and then also like this lesson of that it it really is more blessed to give than to get like because I could have tried to pursue my ways and so but like <laughs> when I fully trusted God and just uh, gave it over to him and just surrendered that, no, we ha have given this away. Like he went over and beyond. I didn't even pray for that he would take away my pain in a second. It didn't even come to my mind. But he is just, <laughs> he's just so incredible. So he, he just surprised me <laughs> and that is what happens like it's, it, yeah it's more blessed to give than to get it's not just about money it's about your time energy or a spot at the health retreat and like ah oh, it's just so wonderful and I'm, I'm so happy and I hope that this made you happy too and I'm gonna continue to enjoy all the things I can do. <laughs>